Hey, am I sideways? <clears throat> Hey guys, am I sideways? Okay, let me get it adjusted here. I have tried everything that I can imagine to uh, get this thing to turn into landscape mode and it doesn't seem like it ever wants to do it. Hey guys, hi Jim. Andy, how are you? Good to see you here. How's the weekend going for everybody? Oh, good to hear. Andy, yeah, I got your message uh, about w Wichita on the, on that video. I'm glad you're liking it. Hey, Bill. Good to see you. Yes, and it is morning. <laughs> Jim, it, it is morning. Maybe even a little too early. <laughs> I figured I'd try to get this in though before uh, Stephen comes on. I guess he's supposed to be uh, doing his live shave sometime around 11 a.m. my time, and it's pretty close to 10 here. So I figured that'd give me enough time to finish this off so you guys can run over there and watch his deal. All right. Well, I think you'll like Medicine Man too. Hey, Tony. Welcome. Yeah, uh, today what I'm going to be uh, shaving with is uh, Rose Dunn. I had introduced it uh, last week, but uh, I I ended up shaving with the other one, Ann Bissett. Uh I'll be shaving with that, but just kind of a neat little update. Uh, I'm I'm doing a re-release on uh, the Virginian and I don't know if all of you caught up with uh, what I posted on the web page but uh, I got word back from Mr. Drury who is the uh, lead actor who played the Virginian and he gave me his blessing on using his likeness and and his photo on uh, the soaps and uh, made a simple request that I send him some to shave with. So, and I asked, you know, if he, if he was, uh, using a straight razor or anything else. And I guess from time to time he does use a straight razor. Hey, good morning. Rob, how are you? So anyway, um, uh, a few of you have already ordered the Virginian with this label here on it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I could call that a collector's edition at this point or not, but uh, what I was going to say is that if anybody has ordered that first little run there and uh, has the old label and would prefer this one, just make a note and I'll send you the one with uh, Mr. Drury's picture on it. So anyway, if you, if you, uh, if you really want to change it from, from this one to this one, then uh, that option's open there. All you have to do is just send me a note and I'll get that out in the post. Well, I guess we look like we've got enough people to get started. I got a lot to get accomplished today, so 
Uh, I'm going to do a head shave and, and a face shave. I'll take care of the face first, but uh, I'm going to use a straight razor on that. And uh, the razor I'm going to be using is uh, GRS Solingen Craftsman. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the lettering on that is just like Craftsman Tools. So I don't know if this was actually made for Craftsman Tools or the uh, Sears Company, but it was act it's made by Richards Solingen, Germany. And it has this little imprint, I don't know if you can see it there maybe, of a whale on it. I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway, I think this is probably about a, a five eighths, something of that nature. It's in good condition. It's got just a little bit of staining on the blade, but I, I haven't done anything to polish it up or restore it. I just cleaned it up and put an edge on it, and I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try here. Uh, today's brush is going to be the uh, Omega Professional. And uh, it's a plastic handle, but it's chrome color, banded bore. And uh, I think this pretty good brush. I've almost got it broke in, I think. But, uh, and I've put some soap here in the, in the bowl already. Kind of smeared it in. I went with about a double portion because I'm going to do my head as well. Well, I'll go ahead and get started here lathering up. I don't know if you can see what's going on in there, but. Have any of you ever noticed the uh, difference in in consistency on a soap when you're going from say like a natural hair to a synthetic uh i mean between what's achievable but also it seems like when you're using a natural hair the the soap feels a little more fatty i don't know if any of you have, have noticed that in the past or not Uh, here's what we've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and let that set there for a minute. Get my face wet up good. Well, Tony, what have you been up to today? And how's things over in Australia? <laughs> hey, sorry guys, I uh, this thing just killed out and now it's back for some reason. Anyway, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean there, uh, Bill. I've been, I prefer a synthetic a lot of times. It, I guess it just depends on what I'm mixing up. Jim, I guess I noticed you said that you got Johnny Appleseed uh, already and, and that you like it. Uh, how did it, how did it lather up for you?
Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I didn't know if you had it. it uh, had another one of my soaps to compare it to or not that was before this this uh, formulation, but uh, you know I don't think it, the, the you're going to see that much difference in performance if you have soft water from what's in the past, but. Uh, if you have hard water, I think you'll see a significant difference. But uh, anyway, I might as well go ahead and get started on raking some of this stuff off. I guess I had about three days growth on here, so. Australian Open. Trying to keep cool. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's, uh, yeah, it's summertime over there. I actually... Tony, have met a young lady on uh, that contacted me looking for somebody else with my same last name. Well, we got to talking and have become friends, and I guess she's from uh, Adelaide, and so we've we've been talking for a little bit of time and uh, enjoying the conversation and friendship. And, one of these days, maybe I'll get over there to, to see everybody. Hi, JC. Glad you're here. Just pop right in. JC, uh, what I'm using today is uh, is Rose Dunn, one of the uh, scents that I released that a uh, little more suited for ladies, and uh, that that's the uh, Wild Rose Coconut and Amber, and I, but still I like using it. Or if you any of you guys are floral heads. You'll probably like it as well. Well, I'm doing pretty good. It's a little early for me to want to uh, get up on a Sunday, but uh, I guess uh, Stephen is going to be doing his live at 11, and I didn't want to interrupt with that, so uh, I figured I'd try to get in just a little bit early and see what's going on. Hey. How's it going, farm? Good to see you. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. Try to slick it up a little more. <laughs> a 
Bill, you don't like cigars? Yes, this is this is Rose Dunn. And I don't know if you can see the consistency on it or not, but uh, and and I added more water to it there too to for the second pass here, so Yes, it is, JC. In fact, I'm even, I'm even impressed with it myself. And see, I have hard water here, so I guess I'm kind of in a perfect situation. To be able to try to test the results or, or be able to notice a result. Yeah, I know, Bill. Uh, that's the kind of same with me, but well, if I have a cigar, I'm usually tired of it before it's finished off, you know. I, I do like the aroma once in a while, but then they're so darn expensive. And then when you go to try to light it, for the second time, it just don't seem to, doesn't seem to t taste or smell the same. Hey, JC, have a good day. Thanks for dropping in. Well, I'm liking that. It's fairly good shave there. So I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. Then we'll uh, move on to the head. Actually, I'm just going to catch a little bit right under here and call it done. across the grain there was good enough. All right, I'll get this washed up. Make it look easy. I'll tell you what, when I first started out with it, I was kind of like shaking in my boots, you know, but uh, with, a little, with a little bit of time, you know, I started out practicing with the, uh, with the Shavette, and actually, I, I wasn't as happy with my uh, shaving experience with the Shavette as I am with a straight razor, I think. 
they're they're two different animals really even though that they're similar and uh there's just a whole different feel to it a different level of comfort And in my opinion, if you can shave with a shavette, um, I think there is no reason that you cannot handle a uh, straight razor by any means. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, the kitchen knife. Well, actually, the kitchen knife was pretty easy. It, uh it was definitely razor sharp, but you know, because of the uh, pitch it, what, that, that it sharpened at, it was just a little bit rough. I mean, not in the sense of not cutting, it was just tuggy. Uh, didn't want to go through the uh, hair quite as readily as, as it would with a, a different angle on the grind. I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably just going to do a one or two pass on my head here rather quick. And uh, put a little water to it. I almost say that on on my head, especially, I seem to get a much better lather with a uh, with a synthetic, like say maybe like this. I, I'm going to tell you, I just don't know if I'm brave enough to try to do my head with a shavette. Uh, I do like the straight razor. I'm comfortable with that, but. You know, a shavette would make me nervous for a head shave. Tell you what I'm going to use today is a Gillette Tech mid-60s model. And I got this handle here that I put on it. Actually, what this was was a travel tech. And the handle I put on it was from an Apollo razor. The handle is absolutely beautiful. Got a nice weight, got nice knurling and everything. But the head that was on it was trash. It was kind of a design, something similar to a Jagger. But I'm telling you, it was bad. The, the uh, blade alignment was really sloppy. But on I just threw that on this uh, Gillette Tech, and uh, these, you just can't beat these razors for both being smooth and efficient. Uh, what I'm, let me grab a blade here real quick. I tried to, uh, I tried to get along again last time with a Persona Lab Blue, and that's what was in it. This has got one use on it, and it seems like, you know, I, I tried to prove to myself that maybe I was ready to use one of these and not notice it, but for some reason, as much as people like these, I hate them at this point. I, I've gotten worse shaves out of them more times than I've gotten an okay shave, and. Uh, I don't know what it is about them with me, but unless I just got a crazy batch of them or something, it, it's kept me from going out and wanting to buy or try any more of them, that's for sure. Yeah, and see, you know, I don't have a Parker, but I have tried them in just about every other razor in a 34C and 23C, in the techs, old and new, vintage or even antique in style. Uh, 
I've tried them in the Slim Adjustable, just about anything you can imagine putting them in. Even a Bailey Super Mild razor, and I just still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, well, Stephen, actually, I, I just decided to jump in here quicker and thought maybe I might be done so I can come over and watch yours. And so everybody else can make it over there. Otherwise, I'm not going to get a chance this afternoon, but we'll go ahead and get started here. And it might get be a little skippy on on this, but I wanted to see how a, how well a tech does with about a week's worth of growth. And it seems like it takes a few more strokes to get it there. As you can see, fills up pretty quick. But the blade I put in it is an Astra SP. So it ought to do pretty good at least for a smooth shave. <laughs> yes, you do have stylish hair, Stephen. I can't argue that. But I got to take every opportunity to bust your chops, you know. You being famous and all. <laughs> Wait for it. He's got something to say. Mm. <laughs> Sound like somebody's messaging me. Well, let's go for a second pass. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who's your director? And and who's your choreographer? You going to be getting some special music done for it? Once that bulk of the hair is down, these Gillette techs are just awesome for, for a head shave to me, seems like. Just goes right through it and cuts close. Very nice.
Jimco, what do you got on the agenda today? No, actually, Rob, they're really not that hard to find. Um, you can you can watch around on them. I think you know you you can get a you can get a tech that has the ball end. These are pretty good. They should do shave a little differently than the older vintage, which is a solid head. But uh, these stamped plate ones, they're actually a little more efficient in my opinion than the uh than even the older version and these were made in the 60s they were a cheaper answer to production and uh it really doesn't matter if you have a if you have a favorite handle even and you, you have the opportunity to pick up a travel tech cheap you know go for it uh i think you can you can get probably either one of them for somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks a lot of times. J.J. Abrams, okay. Yeah. All right, well, next time I see him, I'll ask him how things went. Yeah. Yeah, Jimco, uh, you know, like I said, anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks, you can pick up a decent tech. And if you like the ball handle, great. If you can pick up uh, a travel tech even cheaper and you have a handle that you would like to put on it, they're just a fantastic shave for sure. Even on the, even on the face, it's just wonderful. Do a little touch up right in here, and then we can call it good. Yeah, well, if you've got any questions, just shoot me, shoot me a mail or a message on on Facebook or something. And uh, be glad to help you out with it. If you just can't find one, I can promise you, got a, I got a few of them sitting around that are just like in new condition. In fact, I even have one vintage in the box, never been used, and uh, with the original vintage blades that came with it. So now I don't have any kind of a rose scented. Uh, shave splash or anything today, but uh, usually, at least on my head, I try to get some kind of aftershave on there, something with alcohol in it. I'm going to use this Osage rub today, it ought to be nice and toasty, warm my head up a bit. Oh, yeah. I still love the reaction that Mike Baker gave one day when he slapped some of that on and he says, Osage Rub, where have you been all my life? Oh man, yeah, that would be nice. That would really be nice. Um, hey, Stephen, if you're still here, say yay or nay or something. I don't think I got to announce this while you were in here. I, I told the other guys, but uh, the Virginian, the label has changed on it. And this is the updated label, so. Uh, if you need any more information on that, I, I did make a post about the uh, uh, the re-release of it. So, yeah. And again, you know, you guys, if you want the new label, just let me know. 
for those of you that already bought the uh, the previous, and I'll get that sent out to you. Give me just a second, and I'll, I'll be right back. Now, if we're going to talk about text, I'll show you a few examples of ways that you can find them. And, uh, of course, there is a gold tech, and that has the older style with the diamond uh, etched into the top plate. Uh, I've got a couple of those. Here's another one. And this is how much I enjoy text. They're they're a pretty good razor if for anybody starting out, especially. Uh, here's another way that you can find them in the travel tech with the little short handle. And this is a 60s model. Let me see if I can see the code on it. This is a K, so this would be a 1965. Usually you'll find them in something like this. Uh, yes, Stephen, it is the new formula. Here's another way you'll find them. In a little zipper packages. You know, most of the time they're leather. This one here is actually one of the older styles. If you can see that. It's got the uh, diamond etched head on it before the 1960s. It might have been somewhere in the 50s on this particular one. Uh, this one, this package was made in Austria, and it's got some of the original blue blades. Now, uh, yeah, I, I agree, Stephen. You know, it's, it is a bit mild, especially in the older model. The uh, the 60s model with a stamped metal head uh, seems to be a little more efficient, but they are still very mild. Here's another way that you might find one in a little travel case. And this is basically a vintage unused set. And even the styptic pencil in it is still in very good condition. It's got the original blades in the package, travel set. Uh, this is a mid 60s, I think probably about 65, 66. And one other little uh, travel tech that I, I run across was in this. Once in a while, you'll find a little metal case. And this one, I believe, was probably a ladies type case. Kind of got a gold chrome brushed finish on it. And then when you open it up, it's got a little mirror. And uh, this one, I don't think it ever been used but the blades were missing in it. At least it didn't appear to be used. It just as shiny as it could be. So I went ahead and I put the, uh, put the topaz blades in there, just to fill the spot. Anyway, good luck on your search for a tech. <laughs>